All right, another round has begun. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, we have got something special for the Hairband Fist Fanatic. By the way, we have t-shirts for sale, too. Right? <laughs> Shirts for sale, we'll model those shortly. We'll model them, yeah. And I know you want to get your Hairband Fist Fight uh, paraphernalia. That's right. But we have something really special for you guys today. I Have you ever ate combos before, Fig? You know what combos are, Fig? Dude, combos really cheeses your hunger away. <laughs> a so, victim of commercialization. So we are going to have our own uh, have we passed the exit, version. by the way? Have we passed the exit? No. Uh, 34A. All right. We are going to have our own version of combos today. We're going to have a combo contest. This is, a, this is crazy. This is out of control. We are doing a singer slash... Put the lighting on. I mean, light on. I just turned it on. There you go. Is it not working? Oh, we blew out the you light. We our light. Cheap van. Oh, what is this? Boo, boo. <laughs> uh, we are doing a. Uh, Don't put the right uh, Singer guitar player. This is singer slash lead guitar player competition. Ooh. Combo. So for our first singer slash lead singer lead guitar player part of the combo, none other than. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Other than other, and I do mean the great, <laughs> referred to as by my friend John Baird, the man, Tommy Kiefer of Cinderella. <laughs> think of that <laughs> I like that was one of the most dramatic introductions I've heard in here oh well you're talking about the man the Tom keeper the keeper is right yeah Lots of guys so who are you gonna compare him to I found somebody oh Ooh. I found somebody lead singer slash lead guitar player none other than the amazing and he happens to be the singer and lead guitar player on the hairband fist fight theme song <laughs> Michael Sweet from Striper. Ooh, the right to see. Song song. What do you think of that, Meg? He's speechless. He's speechless. He can't even talk. <laughs> Tom Kiefer versus Michael Sweet. This is a battle that has been waiting to happen. Dude, for... the camera's shaking right now. Gross Sailor can't even handle this. I can't handle it. <laughs> All right, Figaro, if you can get your, gather your thoughts. This is amazing. <laughs> Technical. It's going to be the best one out. Technical. Holy moly. These guys are awesome. I'm big fans of both. Technical. <laughs> Boy, they're, they're both good singers, but they're different. Like, Tommy's got that crazy rasp, bluesy thing going on where people are going to laugh at me, but... Michael Sweet's got that that hard rock, you know, high voice, <laughs> you know, good stuff. As far as their guitar playing goes, that's very different too. You got Tommy with his bluesy oriented stuff, and uh, Michael more with his like rock style, or whatever. Geez, big fans of both, but I gotta give technical to Michael. All right. Ooh. I know. I know. Bruce, technical. I think he's better. I think he's better at well, both. I think he's better at both. Oh. Well, I want to say that uh, Fig's explanation was excellent. So I, I don't want to repeat this, the things that Fig said. It's an excellent explanation of both both players. Um, you know, it's through the roof, the technical. The singing, the guitar playing, both guys, fabulous. Their styles are totally different. Probably comes down to which style do I like more or whatever. But, again, then I have the takeaway style because we're talking technically speaking. Technically speaking, Michael Sweet's probably a better vocalist technically because he can just do so much right. with that range and everything uh, that's even greater than Tom's. Is this our accent? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm right on it. Uh, guitar playing wise, I, I don't know if technically Michael Sweet's a better guitar player than Tom Keefe. I, I hate the battle. I, I hate the jump. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm jumping ship, and I'm calling it a tie. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm calling it a tie. All right, all right. We gotta call it a tie. Feel. Uh, Gross Taylor just put up 0.5. I will put up 0.5. <laughs> Feel. Yeah. He's a bastard. Boy, these guys. 
these guys both really get into their vocals and their guitar playing. They really feel their stuff. But Michael feels it so much that he actually prays at the show. And he gives you a Bible. Oh, Lord. He feels it. Michael Sweet. He gives you a Bible, he said? Yep. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's amazing. And they throw the Bibles out. It's great. That's amazing. Yeah. I think they just did it once and everybody liked it, so they kept doing it. Um, wait a minute. I think I get my... Uh, so... Okay, so we're going for feel. 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 Boy, again, both. I mean, you talk about feel, you know musicians. What's happening all over great. here? That's a military hit. Oh boy! Well, dude, obviously, it's getting out of control with this competition. They had to bring in the military. Calling the big guns here. Yeah, yeah you bring in Michael Sweet and Tom Kiefer in the same room. It's out of control. We need know? some security. So, as far as feel, it was security exactly. As far as feel goes, again, this is. This is almost another tie, but I'm not going to go with a tie in this one. I won't be that much of a coward on this one. But they both have amazingly great feel when it comes to playing and singing. But feel-wise, just by, I mean, the thinnest hair I can come up with, I'm going to go with Tom Kiefer when it comes to feel. Because I just think he just... I don't know. Tom just slides into things, man. It's like slide. It's like a, it's like a baseball player, the perfect slide into home plate. And Tommy Kiefer just sometimes does that. I don't... There all right, go. all right. I can, go see with it. I can see it. I can see it. Oh, Kiefer. Uh, writer. 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 Seamstress Blues, baby. Holy moly, the writing. Writing is crazy. I mean, you have both of their. I mean, both of their big hit albums. Well, for Cinderella, it was the biggest album was probably the Night Songs album, right? Bruce? I mean, they did some. Uh, stuff dude, as long. As I'll tell you in a second about writing. All right. I'll and save then, it for me. So, yeah. We, we don't need to. Yeah, I I'll just tell you how it is. <laughs> <laughs> so we had monster hits from that night song. Album. It was great. Hit after hit. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I remember just sitting in our room listening to Nobody's Fool over and over again when it first came out. Phenomenal. Also, when we talk about Striper, oh gosh. I think for me it was the Hell of the Devil album. That was just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, writing. Oh man. <laughs> I, I gotta say, you know, if I think about the amount of songs, and, and they both did the majority of the writing, both of these guys, I know that. Right. I gotta say that I was more into the writing of the Striper songs than the Cinderella songs. Awesome. I was really into it, going with uh, Michael Sweetings. Okay. Nice, very nice. Good explanation there, Phil. Good explanation. I'm gonna start with Striper. Striper had some amazingly good songs. I mean, just like, not only were they like great catchy rock songs, like you know you could they're catchy, you could sing with them. So you're trying to say they're catchy. I'm trying to they they were catchy. <laughs> you know I mean soldiers under command. Forget about it. The harmonies, yeah, the harmonies. Michael Sweet's voice is through the stratosphere. Sing along. <laughs> I can't even do that live rendition. Uh, so as far as a writer goes, I mean, and, and they were not easy. You couldn't be some chump musician and play Striper. You couldn't. Right. And if you were going to tour your sticks like Roberts would forget. But we got to stick to the writing. We're on Michael. Right. Michael Sweet is a writer. Put together some great albums, some amazing songs. Uh, they were technically, like, they were not only music, uh, great songs for the average listener to love and to sing along with and rock out to but as a musician you, you appreciated wheel. what he put together thank you that's you know that's them right but I got three words for Tom Kiefer representing Tom Kiefer that is long cold winner yeah. right. long cold winner from start to finish I would almost argue one of the I mean from every song start to finish one of the one of uh, easily in the top ten albums of the entire 1980s of a collection of songs on one album, uh, phenomenal from start to finish. Nice. So I am going with Tom Kiefer in the writing. All right. Best overall. <laughs> Best overall. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Scooby Doo laugh. That was good. Uh, <laughs> awesome. You ready? Um, Overall. You know, <laughs> I don't need to rehash everything that I just said. You know how I feel about these guys. Love them. Uh, but overall, uh, Michael is the whole package, man. He's phenomenal. Vocally, guitar, everything. All right. Michael. Bruce. Overall, 
This is, uh, jeez, it's, it's just unbelievable. They they both have it all. They've got the they've got the guitar chops. They've got the singing skills. They've got the they both are great frontmen. Got to right. bring that up too. I mean, they both know how to lead a show beautifully. Whatever. Um, you know, overall, I mean, I know we're I know we're talking about guitar playing and singing, but overall, I do have to mention Tommy Kiefer. He can play pedal steel. He can play saxophone. He can play. He, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable it's what this guy can throw in there. I mean, every, every song he's pulling out a new instrument at a Cinderella show. It's it's out of hand. Uh, so I do have to throw that in there. But you know, Michael Sweet is the performer, is the vocalist, as the right. I mean, so again, it's it's about it's as close as it gets, but by less than the thickness of a hair that's split in half. Oh, even half a hair this time. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Kiefer for overall. <clears throat> okay. Who would you rather have in your band, Fig? Oh, that's easy. I'd rather I'd rather have Tom Kiefer in my band. I feel so bad for him playing all those years with Eric Brittingham on bass. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to I would have to come in and replace Eric. Yeah. Uh, you know, we gotta get out. You get at least two or three Come notes on, Tommy. in there. Tommy. Tommy. What do you say? All right. Pers What's this one? <laughs> would you rather have in your band? Oh, I would you rather have in your band. Uh, uh, my poor Brittingham. <laughs> Well, I, I would like to say that Eric Brittingham, uh, I mean, in, in, in my defense of Brittingham, is this guy could spin a bass. Or, I mean, I mean, how he didn't kill himself, I don't know. That's impressive to me. Um, uh, what would you rather have in your band? Yeah, thank you. As far as I, I think they would, both guys would be amazing to have in my band. Um, Jeez, that's a tough one. They they both add so much. I, I mean, if I was like playing drums and who's out there like running the show, Michael Sweet or Tom Kiefer, boy, I just call it a tie. I, boy, Dude, I have a duo. I, I, I would sound, I would sound like a coward. Yeah, you know what? I invite them both in the room, and whoever walks out first, that's who I'm left with. They're both invited in my band. Sorry, I can't. Awesome. I can't decide between the two. All right. So I wasn't keeping track again, dude. Do, do we? Do we have a feel for that? We'll have to go to the tape. We have reviewed the tape and found there's a tie. We are going into overtime, and overtime will be decided by the category, what do we say? Uh, stage presence, stage yes. presence. Well, so, uh, first of all, before he goes, I'd like to point out the fact that I told you that this was out of hand it's between out of hand. these two. Yeah. We have a tie. We have a tie. We have a tie. I thought. So, yep. Yep. The, uh, we start with Figaro's stage presence. Stage presence. Oh, We're in overtime. Oh, gosh. Matter of fact, I stopped driving. Look, I stopped. We stopped. This is all out of control. Yeah. This one is. Thanks. You know, <laughs> both of these guys were bands, and they all had like the, like the synchronized moves and stuff like that. I mean, stage presence. You're talking about two monsters. They're both very present. Um, I think it's. Uh, I don't know. This is crazy. In a tiebreaker, I almost have to give it a tie. But oh, well, you could come down the burst if you do it. Yeah. Well. I think I'm gonna have to do that because they're they're both oh, <laughs> they're no. amazing on stage oh. and I can't choose. Awesome, God, Bruce. Mr. So Bruce. Fig is going with the first. This is this is how nuts. This is the worst competition. We ever. can go to double I mean, overtime. No, if I'm you saying to tie. this is the greatest competition ever because it's for this is the first tie he's ever had. I believe. I think so. He's never called a tie for anything. Oh, nah. so that's how crazy this. Yeah, I have to review the. Other you know what I mean? Like he's never. It's not I mean, I have had a couple ties in the past. Yeah, you, you tie a lot. You're yeah, very indecisive. Is, so. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying. This is this is the greatest hair band fist fight of all time, which might explain why <laughs> Striper has our theme song. That's true. But okay, so uh, all right, so he went with a tie. He can't even decide who's better stage presence. Well, the bad the bad news here is the fact that uh, I was going to go with a tie, but he already went with a tie. Well, we could come up with that on the category. So we can't. Unless you, unless I, I don't you think can pull we can do that. I was going to go with a tie, but I think that's wrong. If you can do it, I, I do know it. this. Is, I know this is the thing. So either I'm going to get hate mail from the from the Striper fans, or I'm going to get hate mail from the Cinderella fans. Uh, is who's going? We're getting hate mail from Cinderella fans already. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we love Cinderella. They, they're awesome. Uh, here, here's and, and here's the thing. He, before he gives you the answer, <laughs> we every band that we always talk about, we love all these guys. I don't want love anybody, them all. There's no malice. Anybody online to think that we Fig, don't like. Do you love Eric Brittingham? I love Eric. There love you him. go. Love, love him. him. Of course. Uh, <laughs> so here we go. I think I'm going to end it though. They both know how to get a crowd going. They both can jump around the stage, play guitar. They both 
fill up the room with excitement. You're ready to go once they walk on stage. His voice is out of control, Michael Sweet. Kiefer has the dramatic moves with the group, whatever. But, but before you give the answer, yes, it was it was Cinderella, that, that terrible Christmas song, right? What was it? They did like some like really bad Christmas song on one of those Christmas albums you guys Okay. Had. Was it Cinderella? No. I think of? No, that was Faster Pussy. Oh, it's Pussy. Yeah, faster okay, Pussy. Right, yeah. right, right. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> It was really faster, terrible. How did the faster cat get involved? I thought it was we're Cinderella. We're gonna have to get faster pussy cat in on one we'll of these guys. She's babbling on. And on. Yeah, that's another. That's a whole another. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, but <laughs> there is a reason why. I think I thought of that because we saw them together with with yes. with poison. That was yes. Poison? Yeah. Right. Cinderella. Cinderella and and cat. Faster. Right. Awesome. <laughs> There's right. Okay. Go so th- right. right. The world is waiting. So yes. here we Set go. it out already. There's a reason why the nickname from so many. Of people that I know, that his his full name isn't Tommy Kiefer, his full name is Tommy, the a word I can't say, man. So I'm just gonna say the man, Tommy the man Kiefer. The re- the dude is coming from the lights, playing the piano. It's just it's out of control. So I, I gotta again I'm splitting hairs, but that it's Tommy the man Kiefer. I gotta right. go with Kiefer. I Tommy, gotta go with Kiefer. Tommy edges him out. Takes them once That's again. I, I, but we're we're stunned. We don't know what to say. I think that we need a Cinderella and Striper concert to come to a city That's near right. you. We'll have to make him come into town. Yes, in honor of Hairband Festival, right. we're going to arrange that concert. Call us. Call, Call us now.